How about if we start with the definition of the logical thinking process? At its most elemental, the LTP is a set of five integrated logic trees designed to identify first what is expected of a given system. In other words, what performance standard is required of it. Second, what to change if the system is not realizing that performance. Third, what to change to. In other words, how should the system be reconfigured to achieve the desired performance it's not producing now? And finally, how to cause that change to happen? In other words, how do we execute the required change? A whole system analysis begins at the center of this wheel with a goal tree to define the expected performance of the system. That system performance standard becomes the entering argument for the current reality or problem tree. The purpose of the CRT is to determine what components of the system are responsible for the system's failure to achieve its expected performance, that is, the goal in the goal tree. Revealing these causes determines what we need to change in our system to close the gap between what the system is achieving now and what it should be achieving. Typically, changing anything of significance in a system, even if it will clearly make the system better, attracts varying degrees of resistance. What solves one person's problem can often gore someone else's ox. The evaporating cloud is a conflict resolution tool we use to try to resolve people's concerns about change and to overcome their resistance to it. Its output is called an injection, which is something the system isn't doing now. The injections defined in the evaporating cloud, combined with other new policies or practices the system isn't doing now, then become the entry point for the future reality or solution tree. The FRT is a kind of tabletop simulation intended to test the effectiveness of the injections at solving the problems defined in the current reality tree. Together, the evaporating cloud and the future reality tree answer the question, what to change to. Once the proposed solutions to the system problems have been verified effective to the extent possible without actually taking action yet, the cycle moves on to execution, how to make the required changes happen. We determine the execution steps with a prerequisite or execution tree. Now though the picture shows the process ending with the execution of the changes, in reality, we'd be stupid if we didn't observe the effects of our changes on the system and adjust or refine the changes if they didn't fully achieve the system performance we'd hoped for. So that implies that after some period of time, we start the process all over again. Review the required performance, the goal tree, then remeasure system performance against it and construct a new CRT. And the cycle continues from there until all of the divergences between the expected and actual system performance are eliminated. 